Coming to you fast and furious from the Permian Basin Produce Water Society Conference. It is still lunchtime here. A lot of great people still in attendance waiting for the afternoon speakers. I'm your host, Keith Stelter, trying to bring you a little bit of positive PR for the oil and gas industry. A little education step by step. Tally Book Troubleshooting brought to you by American Safety Services and Environmental and Production Services. Call us today for Hydrovac service rigs, training, uh, plant rescue, you know, combined entry, all kinds of good stuff. Call us today. The man beside me, I'm going to let him do his own introduction because I have a huge habit of always stumbling over the names <laughs> or mixing something up or getting tongue-tied. Sir, go ahead. Thank you for coming on. Absolutely. Tell me who you are. Appreciate the opportunity. Uh, I am Ed Butler with E3 Solutions. I am a project development manager. We provide uh, evaporation systems for industrial wastewater, produced water, mining water applications, and we're excited to be here. It's a, it's a great show. You know, what are your takeaways so far? Have you partake in any of the, the speakers yet? or I have, and uh, you know, the emphasis on beneficial reuse, it's, it's so nice to see an industry come together as a whole and embrace the concept of beneficial reuse. Uh, we're in a little different space in that we are in reduction of disposal volumes, but uh, it's it's nice to see the uh, the focus on environmental, the ESG uh, stewardship that the the industry as a whole is providing. It's you know not 1985. You know I keep saying it, and everybody's watching the videos in there. You know uh, the industry has come a long way, and it's always innovating. It's one of the best industries in my mind for innovating. That if there is a problem, there is a need. This industry will find a way to to kind of solve it. Uh, any you know. With your company, uh, how long have you guys been around? So E3 Solutions has been around for 10 years and we've developed uh, a variety of uh, evaporation technologies. Uh, our, latest, our latest models, uh, we, we're capable of evaporating anywhere from 500 to 5,000 barrels per day. Wow, that's, and, that's uh, pretty significant. With, with low drift and we also integrate uh, uh, a meteorological station. So. Uh, during high wind events, we can lower the speed, reduce the evaporation efficiency of the motors a little bit, but reduce the drift and the saltwater carryover onto the surrounding property. Wow, that's uh, that sounds pretty. I never even thought about the you know the need for that. Uh, yeah, ranchers don't like uh, don't like a salt crust on their uh, on their grazing lands. No, I, I imagine they, they don't. So uh, that's actually something I've never you know taken in consideration. This is my second conference. I came last year. Uh, uh, have you been to the conference before? Uh, you no, know? this is the first time to the uh, Produced Water Society, but I've uh, been to several in Midland and in Houston for uh, water applications. Uh, you know, where do you think the industry is going from, from here right now? Where, where do you think the next you know, big takeaway is going to be? When I look back at the past three years and the advances that have been made in the technology and uh, in, in the completions profile of the water that, uh, that people are looking for in, in terms of recycled water, uh, there have been huge strides made. So it's going to be exciting to see in the next three years if we can get to a point where there's cost-effective desalination, that's the holy grail. And, and if anybody can get there, it's going to be this group. People are going to do it or in, uh, they're in, under this roof. And, you know, the application, you know, water is such a precious commodity right now. There's going to be applications for the water that's, you know, from that desalination that's going to be used all over the country. So. Oh, yeah. It'll be huge. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. Very, very nice much. to meet you. Nice and, meeting you uh, as well. We're, once again, Produce Water Society Conference here in the Permian, Permian Basin at the Horseshoe Arena in Midland, Texas. Come on down uh, for this afternoon, the speakers. We've still got a great lineup and all day tomorrow. And until next time, that's how you troubleshoot. <laughs>